Hi, we provide a product which lends itself well to a demand and market and makes you money. My name is Louis and I work at Steadfast Construction and Design. What I'd like to, give, to do is give you a tour of week five of our conversion on a four bedroom property into a seven bedroom HMO. We specialise in the conversion of HMO properties, thinking of the long term, our systems all geared and set up for the property functioning well for you, the tenants, uh, long term, so that you don't have complaints. We want the properties to rent well and stay fully let for you as well. Um, I'll take you through the property going, you know, top to bottom through the, each of the rooms, starting in the, um, the heart of the property, communal areas, bedrooms, and we can see what's been going on, what steps we've taken to ensure that the property functions well um, for the people who are going to be living there in the future. It is a bit of a building site, so yes, it's not the prettiest, prettiest of places at the moment, but all the decorating and whatnot will be coming at the um, the back end of the process that we're, we're going through, but we're dealing with all the stuff in the background that helps the property functions as it, as it, as it should as a quality HMO. So let's Entrance go. Entrance into the first room, as you can see, lots of materials, doors um, that are going to be fitted. We've had the um, cables pulled through, metal sheets applied, we're having the kitchen delivered at the moment, got the trestles there shower bases, copper pipes that are going through that are branching off from the main boiler system, en suite area, so it's an en suite bedroom and we've had that, had that single skimmed, had the cables pulled through, soil pipes, so it lends itself very well as the functional en suite and it's got the hot and cold feeds as well. Really nice, bright bedroom. Walls are going to be bonded, skimmed twice, fire door frames applied, um, bonding at the side as well. Look lovely once it's all decorated. So we'll be sorting the flooring, beds, furniture, USB sockets in here and kitchen area with a fridge, worktop area, um, wall base, ground base units as well. And there's the uh, faster sand plastering as well. And here's our guys bringing in the kitchen. Coming into the main part of the house, through the hallway, into the kitchen diner. And here we are at the boiler. We can see we have a stud wall. We've thermalited the um, door that used to be here. And we've had the sparks pulling white cables through. We've had the plumber setting up the pipe work, ready for the boiler system to be supporting the house with hot and cold water pumping that through um, so everything will branch off from here starting with the 22 millimeter um, pipes to ensure there's enough water flow into the property um, and then the 22 mils branch off to 15 mils sorry about the noise so yeah it's a bit of a shell in here but it's all closed off to the kitchen diner area just so nobody's messing around with the boiler system and um, We'll have the fire door on there as well, which, which we will be needing. Um, so yeah, once the boiler system is here, we can board up the rest of these um, thermalite boards and that will look more like, a, more like a room. But at the moment, we just need everything exposed so we can work around that and get that boiler system in there as well. So from the boiler room, we have the pipe work coming from the main boiler system. Um, which helps keep the house warm 24 7 and will provide instant hot water um, this ceiling does need to be boarded over and um, what we can see here is the central heating pipes as well as the feeds to the um, showers and bathrooms that will branch off we have the main column which has been 
single boarded and will be boarded over with the ceiling as well. And then in the kitchen we have the um, worktop areas and the ceiling bases, sorry, the wall bases and ground floor bases as well that will be input here. We'll have plugs, plug sockets going in there um, and enough units for all of the seven rooms to have their own uh, ground unit and wall unit as well. So you'll be seeing quite a transformation here. Okay um, guys, so going into the extension room, uh, we've created a small corridor here um, to help with soundproofing away from the kitchen area, washing machines, dryers. Um, at the same time, we thought about light switches uh, being included um, when the tenant is coming into the room. So that's just as you come in on the side here, waiting for the plaster to be done. We've installed the steel beam in here, double, um, double plaster boarded that. Um, we've got some items in here ready for the kitchen to be installed. So there'll be um, a desk, um, wardrobe area, beds in the middle, kitchenette area, and the sockets there ready for that to be installed. And effectively we have a self-contained extension room here as this goes out to the garden, which I'll show you. Quick look outside, out from the back extension room. As you can see, we haven't done much landscaping, but overall, really clean for a builder site. I think you'll agree. So coming back into the property, um, just to recap, I hope you can see that we've taken a lot of steps to ensure that the property stays as a quality um, home for somebody to live in, a quality product for somebody to have um, as an asset long term as well. So um, historically, you would have seen us run into the issue of finding that the chimney stack wasn't supported. That's now supported. Um, we've brought down the ceilings around that area so we can skim the new steels that have gone in there. The back room, we've knocked down the wall to ensure that that room's big enough uh, for somebody, for a couple to live in there. Um, so that's much bigger. We've gone to um, first fixed stage. Um, pipes are still exposed, cables are still exposed around the boiler area, um, kitchen area. Um, and that's just so that we can check for any leaks coming up, all in the interest of making sure that there aren't going to be complaints with the boiler system going down and pipes leaking and whatnot. So we can check that well before um, all the walls are um, all plastered up um, in these key areas and before carpets go down. So that's why the property doesn't look all prim and proper pretty at, at the moment. It's just so we can do all these important steps. Um, but all the properties coming together, it's going to be nice and safe and I think that it will certainly be lasting a long time. The, stru the structure of the property is now safe. The ceilings are going to be um, nice and flat and safe um, with double uh, double plaster over the, over the steels as well. So I'll show this final room downstairs and then we'll go upstairs into the first, first floor and, and the loft afterwards. So coming into one of the final rooms downstairs, everything's a bit exposed at the moment. Um, going back to where we've previously been, so these um, hot water pipes, cold water pipes, flow system comes from the boiler room next door and they run up the property for these 22 millimeter pipes as well, um, being able to support enough pressure through the water system. We've got a soil stack, soil pipe here, um, false ceiling within the ensuite. Um, so this is an ensuite bedroom and it will have a kitchenette over here and outside the soil pipes um, to these rooms as well lead down into this inspection chamber here so we can we're able to um, access that if there was any blockages whereas before there wasn't an inspection chamber suitable so that certainly helps with reducing complaints and in the ceiling hopefully we'll be able to skim over that if not we'll board it if not we'll put down a false ceiling like we have downstairs upstairs um, but this one looks like it should be suitable for hopefully just skimming so now we'll go upstairs and have a look up there so as we come upstairs now into one of the first rooms we're having one of the boards sorry one of the doors boarded over at the moment so that's why there's that plaster board there so we've had the walls plastered um, floors are exposed at the moment that's because we've been supporting the chimney stack there's MDF down on the floor there's a steel beam here got a nice bright window where there'll be a desk um, kitchenette in that corner there 
fire doors on, light switch here, space for a wardrobe, and bed, bed en suite area, cables exposed at the moment, plumbing exposed at the moment, soil pipe exposed at the moment, so we'll be able to um, check for any leaks and install the appliances there. And then we'll go through into the next rooms and there's a call point just here where there'll be um, the main exit upstairs. It's so coming into the next bedroom upstairs. We can see the fire door frame here and we have plasterboards up to the fire frame. Nice, neat job. Uh, coming inside, we've had a false ceiling applied in here. The last ceiling wasn't suitable to be boarded up. We've got an ensuite area, kitchen area. Um, on suite area has the um, main plumbing work coming in and then that will branch off as well into a uh, kitchen, shower, uh, toilet area as well. A uh, nice bright room with garden view in this one. And um, we'll be skimming over the walls. We've plastered over this chimney area um, as well. So this is one of the chimneys that was um, historically there and we've boarded over that one. So we'll move on now to the the next room, but overall nice nice job coming together here. Referring to the next room, we can see the cables are feeding through under the floor. We've been plastering around the edges, ready for the skirts. Applied a new false ceiling in here, as the last ceiling was, was bowed and unsuitable to be boarded. Kitchenette will be going in this corner. We've applied the fire doors for regulations, got the ensuite area, and that has been boarded both front and back as well. And the cables feed through for the light switch um, and the ventilation system switch as well, which we will be going at the top. And there's the base for the shower. So this is one of the larger rooms and we'll, once this is all dressed this will look absolutely fantastic and serve well as a double bedroom. So let's go through now to the to the loft area. So coming now into the loft area and we've created a, a corridor here with a stud wall which has been closed off and that's had a single skin so far and would actually be inserting um, new, new cables through this wall to create a kitchenette area in this corner. Plaster's drying at the moment. We've got these big joists at the moment, but the important thing to focus on is we've created a lot more space now with a lot more space in this area, which was historically closed off with the old walls. And there's storage over over here, en suite. Large window, very large room. And I'll show you the en suite area which has been closed off today. And we'll have the shower going in this, this corner here. Hey guys, thanks very much for joining us on week five of our conversion of this seven bedroom fully en suite HMO in Birmingham. Um, really appreciate you joining us. Um, as you can see, we've uh, shown you around the uh, communal areas, bedroom areas. Um, we've shown you that we're inserting uh, call points. Uh, this is a commercial property, so there are certain aspects of it that feel a bit hotelish ish um, because it is a, is a property for unrelated people to live in. Um, and plan is now to move forward. Um, again, inserting all the relevant services uh, to each of the en suites, checking them over, um, doing the same within the ceilings, the floorboards, um, looking to insert the cables as well as the, the plumbing as well. Once they're okay, we'll be able to close them up um, and plaster over relevant walls, um, be able to get in here with skirts, um, architrave around the doors as well, um, and be plastering the ceilings. So at the moment, we're just going through, you know, a good pallet's worth of plaster in a, in a property like this. So you'll be seeing a lot more um, changes in that respect. Um, has been a bit dark, uh, does appear a bit dark just because there is uh, this plaster drying around, but once it is all decorated, I promise you it'll look fantastic. Um, and uh, thanks very much for your patience with, with any of the sound issues as well. We, I've done my very best um, and look forward to joining you 
uh, I'm showing you more next week. Um, if you do want your HMO converted, uh, please do feel free to contact us and we'll be happy to talk you through what we can and can't do.